What's going on, everybody? Hey, you guys. Welcome back to East Africa with Willie and Rachel. We're super excited to be sitting with you again, praise God. Yes, we are. So we're continuing to talk about being founded on the rock. We're talking about Jesus, praise God. Yes. Amen. I love it. It's been a great, a great in-depth study yeah. on what we are always talking about, which is Jesus. Everything does revolve around Jesus. Yeah, and we're talking in our Christian faith. Absolutely. And we're talking about kind of this is like a basics of as yeah. far as like what it is to be founded yes. on the rock to yeah. be to be like I want to abide in the vine mm -hmm. what does that kind of mean right. to me and so yeah. it's been good and, so it's, and just also to put this out there especially for really any believer but young believers if you don't feel super solid in the word yet and things aren't clear to you and you're still you know in a in a journey well we yeah. all are but in a journey to understand the word in God people that do like these Bible read the Bible in a year I'm not a huge fan of that, honestly, because I think the whole Bible is wonderful. But to just jump back there mm -hmm. without any understanding can be very confusing for people. Mm -hmm. With understanding what happened, because something changed all of mankind. Yeah, changed everything. Didn't mm -hmm. change God. God has been the same. Mm -hmm. It changed us. Mm -hmm. It changed our standing, and that was what Jesus did. Yep. So I do recommend to you to start in the New Testament. Yeah, because that's so good because there's literally no person, no person ever that you can go to and say if I was going to look at them, their not just their life, but their actual attitude towards mm -hmm. everything can they give me the exact representation of God? There's no one except Jesus. Exactly. He is, uh, uh, Hebrews, in 1, Hebrews 1, 3, that he's the express image of his being. It means like he yeah. is the, the every attitude yes. that God wanted to express, every yep. bit of character that he wanted to express was expressed through mm -hmm. Jesus. They are one, praise yeah. God. And when he gave up everything to be born of a woman, a virgin birth in this mm -hmm. earth, and he surrendered, yeah. Everything, all his natural vigor, all his natural life, right. to the Father live through him, yeah. then it is the exact yes. representation yes. of the Father's attitudes mm -hmm. towards life. Yep. And when you're able to look at that, yeah. why wouldn't you start there? Yeah, I mean, so it's, start there. Yes. Start there and stay there mm -hmm. for a while, and you will build a firm foundation because yep. literally, if you were like, this is my pen, mm -hmm. and you wanted to know about my pen, I would give it to you, and you would study it, exactly. and you would use it, and mm -hmm. you would be like, oh, I understand, your pen does yeah. this. But if you didn't know what a pen was, then you came to me. As much as I like using pens, and I'm gonna yeah. try to explain it to you, but you don't know what a pen does, you don't know what paper is yet, it would be very difficult to get yeah. a, a hands-on thing. Yes. Whereas if you just have it, to just use it, and to yes. look at it, and to experience it, and, Jesus, you, and yes. that, is that is Jesus to the explanation of who God who God is, is. Mm -hmm. all right so I just felt like saying that so you know what it's good jump into John mm. and go through to the epistles and you know what praise God you are going to build a wonderful foundation Amen. in your heart so let me I want to read this to you guys um, jumping back into just talking about Jesus being that rock mm -hmm. Paul mentions to us here in 1st Corinthians 10 um, let me start in two. All were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea. Mm -hmm. All ate of that same spiritual food. And all drank of that same spiritual drink. Mm. For they drank of that spiritual rock mm -hmm. that flowed, no, that followed them. Sorry, I lost my place. And that rock was Christ. Mm -hmm. So the Old Testament is always just giving us types and shadows. Mm -hmm. The rock in which they spoke and water flowed mm. was a type and shadow of Jesus mm -hmm. and what he was going to do. Mm -hmm. So if we jump on over here to John, in John 737, Jesus says now of himself, on the last day, well, it says, on the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood up and cried out, saying, If anyone thirst, let him come that <laughs> page. We got the Let fans on. It's been really, very really hot, hot yes. in East Africa. Yes. Um, he says, Jesus cried out, saying, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. Mm -hmm. He who believes in me, uh, mm -hmm. as the scripture has said, out of his heart shall flow rivers of living water. How many of us are like, I want rivers of living water? Mm -hmm. 
I want to be that Christian that is feeling, experiencing God. I don't feel dry. I don't feel weary. I don't feel tired. You know what Jesus is saying? All you have to do is come to me Mm -hmm. and drink. Come to me and receive my life. Come to me and hear my words. Come to me and sit at my feet. Because in that place is where we drink of him Mm -hmm. and out of us flows rivers of living water. Out of you will begin to flow peace Mm -hmm. and joy and happiness and wisdom and love Mm -hmm. and compassion. You know what? So many people are seeking the outside result. They want to seek all of the outside things. They want the outside fruit. When Jesus is saying what you have to do to get that, is to drink of me. And this is a dangerous time we live in because just going off what you said, yeah. we live in an, it's called the information age. And that is, yeah. you can just pick this up and Google, <laughs> what is this? What does God say about this? And you're going to get a thousand different explanations. Yeah. Um, many of which people don't give a, anything about the Lord or mm-hmm. serving Him. They just have whatever information mm-hmm. is on the internet. So, there is no shortcut to sitting before the Lord and allowing Him to condition your heart, to meditating on His Word and allowing Him to speak to you, to begin to discern what the Spirit is saying to you about your life, for you to start to become spiritually sharp. It doesn't take forever, but it also does not take one afternoon. I mean, there is a experiencing of the Lord that takes place when you sit before Him, when you start to drink of His pleasures, of His life, of his light, Psalm 36, in his light we see yeah. light. Yeah. It's not just by gaining knowledge. Yeah. It's not just by looking for some lofty revelation. It's for literally mm-hmm. experience him, experiencing him yeah. through the person of the Holy Spirit, through the mm-hmm. the the oneness that is allotted to yeah. us through Christ Jesus and beginning to experience God in a true relationship. And that is when you start to become founded, when you start yeah. to, be, to yeah. pick up on that and then nothing else yep. can take its place. Yeah, and that's just what I'm thinking here. Jesus said that he was going away. Mm. And it's actually better that he goes away because the Holy Spirit was going to come. Wow. And the Holy Spirit was going to teach you all things. It's talking about in John 17, 25. Verse 26, but the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I Mm. have said. Mm. So when we have all these opinions and it's good to listen to us, Mm -hmm. it's good to go to church and have a pastor. It's good for people to have input in your life. But Jesus said, guess what? I am giving you the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. He will teach you mm-hmm. everything that I I love say. that. And I, and, I, I, and I just want to go off what you just said. Is it good to sit and listen to us? You know what? There's one way to know, and that is to, to compare what we're saying to this. And I love that because if some ministries are all yeah. about just explaining natural things and telling mm-hmm. funny stories and this kind of stuff. Listen, if you can't take what someone's saying here and say, yeah, I see that they're pulling and reading real scripture. Yeah. I can see that they're quoting real scripture and not trying to explain things away, but they're truly yeah. desiring me to go connect to him. Then you can partake, partake of those ministries, yeah. praise God, yes. because they'll consistently bring you back yep. to the rock and always have your your yes. house being built upon a yes. solid foundation, yes. which is Christ, mm-hmm. and He will build Christ, your life. Absolutely, God. it's and just that's, awesome. That's what it is, you guys. So, you know what? Yes, listen to us and listen to others. But mm-hmm. personally, you must, you must, you must. That's so good. There's no shortcut. There is no shortcut to developing no. a personal relationship with God. And allowing him to speak to, allowing the Holy Spirit to do his job, mm. which is to reveal and to teach you all things that Jesus has said. Amen. So set your heart in a place where you cultivate mm. a relationship where you're like, I want to know you more, Jesus. I want to hear you clear. Amen. I want to develop you as the rock in my life. Hallelujah. All right, you guys, we love you. And we've been so blessed to be with you. We will see you next time.